Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we're going to teach you how to change your glow plugs in your 7.3 liter Power Stroke diesel using a Diesel RX glow plug. The 7.3 Power Stroke is a little bit of an older model platform diesel engine, light duty diesel engine that's out there today. These trucks have got several several hundred thousand miles on them. And what we suggest for you is you're, if you're having any starting problems uh, during the winter time, if you're wanting to just raise reliability of your engine in the colder temperature months, then we definitely suggest one of the first things that you do is replace the glow plugs in your truck if they've never been replaced or you're thinking that you've got any problems concerning your glow plug system. Now, we have a 7.3 that we're gonna be doing this installation on today. We're gonna to be using Diesel RX's glow plugs. And I wanna to talk to you just a little bit about Diesel RX's glow plugs. Now, when I was studying for this intro video, I actually had found one tidbit of information that completely blew me away. Diesel RX is the only glow plug that is made in the good old US of A. I could not believe that stat. I got that right off of Diesel RX's website, but sure enough, Diesel RX is the only glow plug made right here in the good old US of A. If you guys are shopping for good for uh, American products, glow plugs, this is the one for you. Really, really good quality glow plug on these. Um, they, they, the materials that are used in the manufacturing of Diesel RX's glow plug, they resist corrosion and vibration, uh, damage that's caused by the vibration. They've got superior electrical insulation and high thermal conductivity. Conductivity is a really hard word to say. You've got a, these glow plugs have also got a dual coil design that allows for faster heat up and stabilizing of the temperatures of this glow plug. And that's one of the things that makes the glow plug more robust and it's gonna last you, uh, last you a long time. You're gonna get good performance out of this glow plug. And the heat concentration on these glow plugs are in the combustion chamber where you actually need the heat, heat concentration. So you don't have this heated all the way up uh, the coil here, it's concentrated in the, in the combustion chamber wh right where you need it. Uh, now you're, again, like we said, replacing your glow plug is gonna get you a much better startup. It's much better for your engine. You're just gonna have a, 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 just, you're just gonna have a happier engine in the winter months with good, correctly functioning glow plugs. So now let's go ahead and get started with our installation of our Diesel RX glow plugs in our 7.3. This is a 2007.3 in a Ford Excursion. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started and teach you how to, show you how to uh, change the glow plugs in your 7.3 liter. This is a 2000 model, so um, this is gonna apply for all the 7.3 liters in changing of the glow plugs. Now, the glow plugs are, are, are located underneath of the valve cover. So we also have a, gal, a valve cover removal video that we will link you to in this video or the link will be in the description of this video. Um, also a good time while you're already here, go ahead and change out your, uh, go ahead and change out your gasket, your valve cover gasket and your internal wiring harness are just cheap and and easy insurance uh, to keep you from having a failure on down the road. It's what we suggest. You're already here, you might as well do it. We've got a video on that too, we'll link you to that. But today what we're showing you is we're just showing you the proper way to replace the glow plugs in a 7.3 liter. Now, like I was saying, the, the glow plugs are located underneath the valve cover. You can see this white wire here from your internal harness goes right over to a black cap. Underneath of that black cap is actually going to be your glow plug. So what you need to do when you start, when you're going to replace your glow plugs, the first thing you've got to do is you've got to get that wiring harness off of there. If time permits for me when I do this, I really like to go ahead and just take the wiring harness off, go ahead and remove it and get it out of my way before I start working on the glow plugs. But I'm just going to show you today how to change the glow plugs out here. So we can go ahead and remove the wiring harness, long nose pliers and just gently remove that. Once you get it this far up, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and take the injector connector and I like to go ahead and remove it as well. That gives me a little bit more slack for the glow plug wire. So we're in pretty good shape there. Now, if you kind of look down in there, you kind of see just the tip of the glow plug and you can kind of see it's kind of, 
it's kind of immersed in this residual oil. What I like to do before I actually pull this glow plug out is I want to go ahead and, and get rid of that oil. So I'll use a little bit of shop air here and I've got a cardboard cover. I like to put a cardboard cover to cover it, just keep the oil splatter and very, very lightly with air, I'll just go ahead and push that oil out, uh, and get it down and get it into the, get it into the motor and get it away from that glow plug because when I pull the glow plug out, number one, I like to see what I'm doing with the glow plug. And number two, I don't want that oil going down on top of the piston. Probably not gonna be enough for a hydro lock per se, but I still just don't like doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get my shop air and we get a little cardboard cover, we'll cover this up and we'll move that air out. You can see that little bit of air just like that pretty well cleaned out around that glow plug. All right, I just want to talk just a little bit about the entire scope of this job um, that is changing the glow plugs out on a 7.3 liter. First off, really really need to be really really aware of what you're doing with this because you're running on you're working on this truck with a valve cover off of you can drop something in the end here that can be um, ingested into the engine for lack of a better word drop down in and, and really 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 give you a, a, a bad day man and it's that's that's probably the one of the first things so there's a lot to that and you just got to be very very conscious of what you're doing one thing I always like to do when I'm working on the 7.3 glow plugs in particular is I like to use a locking extension. If you've got one of these, these are a really, really nice thing. You don't have to worry about dropping your socket and it going somewhere where you can't get to it. Worse yet, falling on down into the block, which is a really, really bad deal. This is worth its weight in gold if you are doing this job on the 7.3 trucks. Now, truthfully, with the 7.3s where the, the glow plugs are underneath the valve cover, you don't run into a lot of problems with them. They're usually pretty easy to get out. You know, they're, the top of them are pretty well oil soaked. It's not like a Duramax where, you know, they, they, it's, it's just a crapshoot of whether it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna break or strip out or whatever. Knock on wood, they usually come out pretty well. Um, but if you, run into a, if you run into a problem with them, let's say you're not able to get the glow plug loosened up, you're putting a pretty good amount of force against it, it won't loosen up. One thing that you can do at that point, put the, um, you can go ahead and put the valve cover back on it if you want to. Um, the truck will run without the valve cover on it. it it's a little messy, but it's, it, it'll do it. Um, you can put the wiring harness back on the injectors, start the truck and run it, put the valve cover back on it, start it and run it, let the truck kind of come up to temperature and then pull your valve cover off, which is a pretty quick and easy job. Check our video out for that. Um, pull the valve cover back off and that little bit of heat might be just exactly what you needed to get the glow plugs on out. They may spin right on out for you, no problem. If you've had a glow plug failure, um, the end of it could have swole and it won't come back out of of its of its hole there if you run into that you've crossed the bridge of what are you going to do at that point am i going to just leave the glow plug in or am i going to go ahead and pull the head off and do a correct um do a correct fix on it i hope that doesn't happen to you if you're watching this video but so we've got our uh, wire off we're going to go ahead and go for this glow plug show you a couple tricks i do again i'm using a locking extension here so i don't have to worry about removing the tool. I'm gonna move my hand so Adam's got a little bit better thing there. So there's about 14 foot pounds of torque on these. Once I get the glow plug on the 7.3s loosened, I start working my, um, my socket up and make sure, because it can come to a point in here when you get to the push rod, just depending on what uh, where that valve is at the time, it can get a little tight, but I like to try to keep, just keep loosening it moving my socket, make sure it releases well. And once I get it to where I know there's a little bit of tension on the socket, I'm just about out of my travel. What I use is a little set of some little carburetor hose, fuel hose here, and I'll push it down onto the glow plug right on the end of it. And then, sorry, I don't hit your camera.
I'll use a little piece of this carburetor hose. And quarter inch fuel line. That's how about I got it. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And what I'll do with this is this lets me twist the glow plug out. So we had just a little bit of a debacle there um, with our hose. The hose that we use for this is a little bit old and wore out. So we're gonna we're gonna do this again. I, I I went ahead and put the glow plug back in all the way there. And Adam and I had a creative discussion as how we wanted to shoot this scene. Adam won, so here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you what we normally do. Normally we have a piece of hose that's not as wore out as a piece of hose I was trying to use was. And all the same rules still apply here. Just be conscious of what you're doing. So got a new little piece of hose here. I'm gonna use it to oh yeah. She's spinning right out there. And again, that just keeps you from being beaten around in there with a socket. Works pretty good till it doesn't work like you'll see in the previous shot. And hope Jim doesn't keep all that in there. But pulls your glow plug out. We've got our new diesel RX glow plug here. Really, really good unit. We're gonna go ahead and pop this back in. And then we tighten this to 14 foot pounds for the 7.3s. Um, just a word about anti-seize. A lot of people uh, question well, should you use anti-seize on these or not. I don't on the 7.3s and, and, and the reason why I don't on the 7.3s is just like I was saying in the beginning of the video, the, the oil saturation underneath the valve cover here, uh, I just don't run into that kind of problem. I don't think anti-seize is probably going to hurt anything. Uh, it'll conduct electricity because the the glow plug makes ground to the block, uh, so it should should be just fine in that regard. Um, I've never seen a installation spec call for NICs on the seven threes, so I've just truly never used it. I, you know, uh, we've never had a problem with it. So, click. <laughs> and there it is. There's our glow plug reinstalled, and at that point. What you'll do is you just put your wiring harness back on and away you go. I'm gonna go ahead and do these other four glow plugs. Nothing different here. Uh, this is the passenger side of the vehicle. Everything's pretty well straightforward. You can get to it. Um, like I was saying earlier in the video, to me, it's a little bit easier just to go ahead and remove the valve cover gasket or at least undo your internal harnesses there at the injectors and move them out of your way. So on this truck in particular, we're gonna be changing out the valve cover gaskets. We'll link you to that video in there again, like we said, but we should be good to go. So diesel RX glow plugs, make them for all the light duty diesels out there. Really, really good product. Um, can't say enough good about, about the company and the product as well. Made in the USA, really, really good stuff. So. I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel. Um, there'll be some links in this video for other parts of 7.3 installations that'll, that'll pertain to this. We appreciate you watching as always. If you have a question about this, uh, give us a call and please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.